concept of the B2B program is basically a matchmaking program. The program is built in, in three steps. There's a contact phase, there's a pilot phase, and a project phase. The contact phase is the phase where we typically invite a Danish company to Bangladesh. We make a program for the Danish companies to go visit five, six, seven, eight local companies. And then hopefully the Danish company and one of the local companies see, okay, we have a common vision and we have a, a business idea together and the chemistry between our two companies are very good. And they decide to go for a, maybe not a joint venture in the first step, but they decide to go for a cooperation. And then in the second step, they will apply for a pilot phase with us where we will support for a period of up to two years. To do a pilot on, if it's within the IT sector, it could be a period where the local company gets some training from an expat sent out from Denmark and the local company try to do different uh, types of jobs. And if that's a success, in, then we can go into a project phase where we also support and that could also be one or two years. At the beginning, there's a lot of garment focus then it turned in 2005, we changed focus to the IT sector. And ever since there's been a lot of focus on, I think like one third of all the joint ventures made has been uh, IT. And then also other sectors has been involved. But most the focus has been on I IT. I think in the years to come, we have decided to still keep focus on the IT, but then have two other areas that we want to explore more in depth, three areas actually. One of them is shipbuilding that we have already started with. The second one is uh, energy, sustainable energy projects uh, like solar, biogas, and, and waste composting, and so on. And the third one is food processing. In 2005, a Dan the first buyer of international ship, a Danish company, decided to build a ship in Bangladesh. And together with a Danish naval architect, they joined up with a local shipyard. And they actually managed to build the first ocean-going uh, class vessels here in Bangladesh and it was delivered to the Danish buyer last year. The Danish buyer has been really satisfied with the, the results and the quality and he now has four more orders, ships in order with this uh, shipyard and placed four more orders at another shipyard. And in the meantime also uh, German, uh, Dutch and uh, Finnish companies have placed orders here for, sh for shipbuilding. So in total now there has been close to 15 uh, ships in order here in Bangladesh, international ships. And again, just to come back to like what are the strengths of the B2B program, I think this shipbuilding sector is really a good example of this. Before the Danish company came to Bangladesh and the Danish Navy architect came to Bangladesh, no one had tried to build ships in Bangladesh for, for years. And with the B2B program, we took away some of the risk for the Danish company to start and get established in Bangladesh. With this very little effort from Denmark, now we actually have a full-grown shipbuilding industry, which hopefully will grow even further in the years to come. I think Bangladesh has, has a great potential. It's a country with a lot of labor, cheap labor. It gives Bangladesh a great competitive advantage. Um, but of course, everything is not easy for a company when you work in Bangladesh. There is a bureaucratic problem. Is sometimes it can be difficult. It takes time to get license and approvals and so on. This is things that Bangladesh need to work on. They have to work on making, making life smooth for the companies to make Bangladesh more attractive as, a, as an investment country. But if Bangladesh succeed in making you know, the frame for make a good business environment, I don't see why Bangladesh should not prosper and, and have to see the same growth rate as uh, we have seen in, in Vietnam and Thailand. And,